हेलो एवरीवन माय सेल्फ केतन भावसार असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर इन एलजे इंजीनियरिंग कॉलेज अहमदाबाद इन बीएलएसए डिजाइन यूनिट नंबर थ्री मॉस ट्रांजिस्टर टुडे टॉपिक वी आर टॉकिंग अबाउट थ्री शोल्डिंग एज यू ऑल नो दिस पर्टिकुलर वर्ड वर्ड इज वेरी पॉपुलर इन ईच एंड एवरी फील्ड वेन वी टॉकिंग अबाउट द थ्री शोल्डिंग because this word we are hearing from more than last 2 to 3 years because what exactly the meaning of threshold that you have to provide a sufficient amount of voltage is to trigger any specific hardware or gadgets now we go into the depth in previous session we discuss about what is mos transistor mos structure what exactly the terminal of gate drain and source and also we discuss about the body terminal and how that particular terminal will affect when we apply certain voltages also we study a uh, external bias voltage when you apply a gate to source and drain to source voltage on particular terminal and what exactly the effect will produce inside the system and also we a study about different types of voltage variations and also its region like accumulation depletion surface inversion and after that surface inversion we also talking about a linear cutoff and saturation region in terms of a pinch or point of view so in previous session we discuss about the mosfet structure its external bias voltages and also its characteristic in terms of when you apply the external voltages and uh, we see when device is generally form the linear variation when channel will be establishment and uh, when channel will be formed from source to destination and uh, when it will become break when you increase more and more bds and it become bds saturation and then channel will be cut off or we can say that the channel will be break from the source region so now in today's topic we are discuss about a uh, thresholding so in first case what is thresholding so in the first case we are considering the vgs is equal to 0 and drain source and bulk are connected to a ground the drain and source are connected by back to back pn junction means substrate source and substrate drain terminal under the mentioned condition both the junction have a zero voltage bias and can be considered as a off which result in extremely high resistance between drain and source it will be created because there is no external voltage is applied so as you can see the results is look like this so when you apply the certain voltages so it's you can see the variation is look like this like the drain terminal source terminal gate terminal and body terminal and also the depletion region will be formed in this region so we can easily identify that how we can connect the data and how we can monitor and observe the variations when channel will be formed so now we go into the depth there are the main four components when we talking about the thresholding and threshold voltages so first the work function difference between gate and channel is 5 gc the gate voltage component to change surface potential is minus 25f gate voltage component to offset a depletion charge minus qb upon cox and also uh, offset field charge in gate and oxide minus qx upon cox so these are the main four components when we talking about the thresholding and how thresholding is actually affect a specific, a specific transistor level now work function dependent is denoted by phi so now let consider the first condition so now take the first condition is phi dc between the gate and channel so as we can see as per our uh, energy band diagram we consider the substrate so 5 gc is equal to 5f minus 5m m for the metal and f is considered as a substrate so as we consider 5f 5m and now 5f substrate minus 5f substrate so now we consider 5 gc is equal to 5s minus 5f so we consider it is a substrate now we consider as a substrate if vgs is greater than vtu 
so now the channel will be start forming so near the surface the negative charge will be produced so 5s is equal to minus 5f and now the work function difference if we put in this particular equation as you can see the 5s is equal to minus 5f so we get total 5gc is equal to minus 2 pi f the gate voltage required for surface erosion is minus 2 phi f the reason is very clear because first of all the holes near the surface after the surface inversion it create a electrons layer so because of that reason the potential difference is negative so minus 2 phi f another component of the applied gate voltage is necessary to offset a depletion region charge which is due to the fixed acceptor ions located in depletion region near the surface so now we consider about the near the surface so depletion charge we consider vsb is equal to 0 so qb is equal to minus 2 qna epsilon si minus 2 phi f plus vsb so in this situation as you can see we have a two scenario vsb is equal to 0 means we are considering the substrate bias is 0 and substrate bias is not equal to 0. So QBO for the oxide is equal to minus 2 phi 2 Q for the charge, NF for the number of acceptors, epsilon SI for the permittivity of free space and minus 2 phi F as we are getting from the surface inversion because 5 GC is equal to minus 2 phi F. And now in this situation we consider the VSB is equal to 0 but now we can see if it is not equal to 0 then we have to add the VSB in this particular equation. So as you can see, we have to add in this particular equation term. And we also consider the two value here because we are always considering in for the PMOS and for the NMOS. So as we have already equation C is equal to epsilon A divided by D, its area divided by D, V is equal to Q by C. So now, after the semiconductor and for the oxide region V is equal to minus QBO upon COX because right now we are considering the Q is equal to QBO and C is equal to COX where COX is equal to the capacitance between oxide and gate terminal. So V is equal to minus QBO upon COX for this particular region. Now after that the component that we have it's for a particular fixed gate at charge oxide or for the oxide capacitance it's minus qx upon cox and similarly we have our depletion region for minus qbo upon cox so this two component it's still remaining that how the component in terms of the depletion region and also in terms of the charge it will affect on the terminal so as you can see so the total voltage at VSB is equal to 0. So we are considering right now VTO is equal to 5GC means we are considering gate to source or 5GC terminal minus 2 phi F that we have means surface inversion. Now QBO upon COX that we have it represent us specifically for the body terminal and for the substrate and for the charge minus QX upon COX. So in this situation, uh, these four parameters are actually affect a specific threshold voltages as we see in first case. And similarly, if you are talking about a threshold voltage, then we have considered it is a, it's a VT consider here, here that 5 GC minus 2 phi F or here we are considering VBO is equal to QB means QBO instead of QB COX minus QOX upon COX. Right now we are considering VSB is not equal to 0 as per this equation as you can see like this. We are considering here QBO and we are considering here QB that if VSB is not equal to 0. Fine. So now as you can see now we put a generalized equation we have to calculate the total threshold voltage VT. So for calculating the total threshold voltage Vt, we are considering the Vt is equal to 5gc minus 2 phi f minus qb upon cox minus qb minus qb upon cox because right now we are talking about the both the situation when vsb is not equal to 0 and vsb is equal to 0. So qb minus qb upon cox minus qx upon 
cox. So we ideally consider here that we are can cancel out these equations. We are getting qb upon cox. So it's a generalized term that we already see in previous slide. Now you can see the 5gc minus 25f minus qb upon cox minus qx upon cox minus qb minus qb upon cox. So now vt is equal to vto minus qb minus qb upon cx because we have the equation this equation is similar to uh, this one as you can see so we put directly vt over here so we can see the qb minus qb upon cox is equal to now we have put the equation of vto that we are seen in first slides like this one qb minus qa minus 2 q na epsilon si in mode minus 2 phi f plus vsb as you can see if vsb is not equal to 0 and vsb is equal to 0. So as you can see we just see as uh, we just try to simplify the equation nothing else and here is also minus 2 phi f we are not consider a vsb over here. So now we put the equation qb minus qb upon cox is equal to minus 2 qn epsilon si in bracket in mode minus 2 phi f plus vsb minus mode of 2 phi f because we put a common terms 2 qn epsilon from this equation. So vt is equal to vto minus 2 qn epsilon si by cox in bracket we are discussing minus 2 phi f plus vsb minus mode of 2 phi f and bracket close. So now as you can see we have equation vt is equal to vto plus gamma we are considering as a coefficient and in bracket in under root of minus 2 phi f plus vsb mode completed minus mode of 2 phi f. So in this situation we are taking a care of threshold voltage in both the situation if vsb is not equal to 0 and vsb is equal to 0 because ideally we have to take care of these two conditions because if these two conditions will fulfill now then and only then we can work on other conditions and then and only then we move on other possibilities. Now we take a coefficient it is gamma as you can see. So gamma is equal to 2q and a epsilon upon c u x a substrate bias coefficient. So you can also call as a subset bias coefficient gamma because in exam they are asking this question in multiple way like um, prove the gamma coefficients, prove a subset bias coefficient, prove the threshold voltage. So in this all the question you have to write down this particular equation for Vt. So I hope that you getting the idea about what exactly the threshold voltage is and what exactly the importance of threshold voltage when we are dealing with a specific linear cutoff and saturation region and how it will affect on particular domain. So in next session we are talking about the color, current and voltage characteristics and we are dealing with a VDS and a VGS. VT and ID equations in next session and then part that particular situation we are talking about different types of MOSFET characteristics when you increase a voltage level and the channel will be formed from drain to source terminal and how the channel width will be decreases if you increase more and more VDS and what exactly the situation and the scenario will be produced for the current. So I hope that you really like this session and if you have any doubt related to this particular topic and this particular method then we definitely talk about the next in next slide and also make sure that this characteristic is play a main role when you are dealing with uh, any electronics or any component which affect a specific methods or which affect a specific threshold voltage limits. So I hope that you like this session and make sure that this particular diagram you can see in each and every data sheet modules if you are talking about the transistor, MOSFET, if you are talking about any chip like N gate, OR gate, any microprocessor, microcontroller you can definitely get the equation of ID, VDS and VGS.
so i hope that you like this session and thank you very much